Welcome to the HP 12C video tutorial series, Finding Interest in a Time Value Money Calculation. HP 12C is easy to use when computing time value money calculations, hereafter referred to by the acronym TVM. A TVM calculation involves some or all of these five variables, number of payments, interest, present value, payments per period, and future value. These five variables are all important players in a wide variety of financial scenarios. The good news for you, the financial analyst, is if you know any four of the five variables, you can use the HP 12C to solve for the one you want. Let's review three scenarios where you are asked to find the variable concerned with interest, denoted as the lowercase letter i. Before you begin following along with a new calculation, please be sure to clear all registers by pressing the keys F and REG, which is on the key marked with CLX. Also, if your calculator is not set to the default of two decimals for the display, set it now by pressing the keys F and the digit 2. Let's begin. Example 1. Mary would like to know what annual rate of return she must earn in order for $20,000 invested today to grow to $50,000 in 10 years. First, let's identify the values of the variables. We are given these four. 20,000 is the present value. 50,000 is the future value. Years are the unit of time in this question, so we can interpret the number of periods to be 10 from 10 years. It would seem that we are not told the payments per period, not to worry. In this example, Mary is neither adding to her investment nor withdrawing. So, as the question reads, the payments per period will be zero. And there, we have four of our five TVM variables. Entering these into the HP 12C is done as follows. We will enter these into each respective register, and once that is done, the fifth register in this case the interest, will yield the answer. Enter as follows. Press 1, 0 on the keypad for 10, and then press the key marked N on the top row. That's all you need to do to enter the data. It is not necessary to press the Enter key as you would expect. The variable present value is $20,000. Now pay attention to this important detail. In TVM calculations, there is a, quote, flow of the direction of money. Since this money is leaving Mary to be invested, it is required in this calculation that the number be entered as a negative number. To make this number negative, press the CHS key in the middle top row. CHS stands for change sign, and it will make positive numbers negative and vice versa. Press CHS after you've keyed in 20,000, and then enter it into the present value register using the key marked with PV. Entering the variable 50,000 into the future value register is more straightforward. This is money flowing back to Mary, so it will be entered as is, as a positive number. Take note at this point, the payments per period register is set to a zero value. Since putting in zero will not change it, some analysts will skip those keystrokes and proceed directly to calculating interest, which is a slight time saver and perfectly valid. For the purposes of this training module, and for the sake of completeness, let's enter zero into that financial register by keying in a zero and pressing the PMT key. Now we're ready to calculate the interest. That is easily done with a single press of the key, I, for interest. The standard model HP12C will take a few seconds and display the word running while it calculates the answer. 9.60 refers to 9.6% interest, and that is the final answer. Example 2. John needs $100,000 in five years to begin his business. He already has $30,200 saved toward his goal. If John plans to make regularly reoccurring quarterly deposits of $2,250 starting today, what annual rate of return must John earn to accomplish his goal? Clear financials with F, reg. 
This question, we can identify present value and future value easily. The rest we need to be careful of two things. First, the question uses the words starting today, which means that the quarterly deposits are made at the beginning of each period, and that makes a difference. Let's take care of that immediately. Set the HP12C to begin mode by pressing the keys G and the 7 key. You'll notice this has the letter BEG in small blue letters. You'll see the word begin on the LCD display. Second, the time unit in this question is years, however, the deposits are quarterly. The number of payments is easy to figure out. This has 20 payment periods from 5 years with 4 times per year. Let's key in this calculation manually. 5, enter, 4, multiply. And then that 20 we see in the display can be put into the periods register N. In keeping with the cash flow model, money that leaves John has to be negative. So go ahead and enter the present value and payments as negative numbers using the CHS key. The last variable, future value, is entered into the F feet register as 100,000. We're ready to find the interest. Press the I key. The calculated value is 1.96. Be wise to what this number means. It is the rate of return for a quarter of a year, and as you are expected to answer this with the annual rate of return. Simply multiply this number in the display by 4. Press 4, and then multiply. 7.83 is 7.83 percent, and the final answer to this question. Example 3. David invested $10,000 in a mutual fund 32 years ago. Today that fund is worth $237,143.02. What was the annual rate of return realized? Clear financial registers with F reg, and let's take care to set the calculator back to end by keying in G8. Notice the word begin vanishes from the display. The confusing part of this question is how to reconcile past, present, and future in this question with how we assign variables to registers. Here are our variables, and as in the earlier example one, the payments per period variable is zero. Why are they like this? Time, like money, has a flow, and that flow is always to the future we consider the variables of this question from the time point of when the money was invested. The $10,000 were the present value at the time. The $237,143.02 was the future value. Enter those variables into the registers and remember that 10000 is a negative value the money is flowing away from David. We will enter zero for the PMT register, since there are no withdrawals or deposits, and we will put 32 into the N register, 32 years. Press I, and we get 10.40. Our final answer is 10.4%, annual rate of return.